I used to use the Alexa to listen to songs. Play, play Dance Monkey. Dance Monkey by Tones and I from Spotify. But the thing is, you can't listen to audiobooks that you purchase, and the sound quality isn't very good. So I decided to build a wireless amplifier to solve my problems. So you can listen. So then you can listen to varieties of songs. And first, you can listen to it from music, like this. You can go from here and click Mood Airplay, or you can go to Spotify and listen to a different song. So here and press yeah, Mood Spotify. It's playing, or you can also go to YouTube and play it. And you connect it by clicking the cast button right there. So that's how I did it. So the next part, I will be showing you guys how to build the wireless amplifier. Hello, the Raspberry Pi Imager from raspberrypi.org. If you use Windows, click download for Windows. If you use Mac, click download for Mac. Next, go to moodaudio.org, then download that too. It will take a little bit of time because it is 4 gigabytes. Then double click the mood zip so it will start expanding. Then you will see we have the ISO image file. And we run that and we run Raspberry Pi Imager. Press choose OS, scroll down and click use custom. We are going to use the mood ISO image. Open that, choose storage. We are going to use our micro SD card. Then press right. Click yes. And now wait. Now you finished installing Moo in your micro SD card. This is all the stuff you need to make a wireless amplifier. This is a Raspberry Pi. A Raspberry Pi 4 for I got this for $35 this is a passive cooling case I got this for $27 this is a DAC plus amplifier board I got this for $49 a DAC chip is is to convert digital music into analog signal an amplifier is to increase the power of an analog signal this is an SD card I just installed the mood image on it, screwdriver and some excess pieces. Let's unbox these two. So let's see what we have in here. So we got the passive cooling case and some instructions. Oh, and those are, um, there's some pieces in here. So let's get this out real quick. Then let's open this up. So we got some pieces and the amplifier plus DAC board. So this is all we are going to need here.
This is all the stuff we need to assemble the the amplifier thing. So first we need to insert the SD card like this and then add these two heat sinks. We need them because the CPU and the RAM, which the which I'm using the heat sink to cover, are too hot and they might burn up. So we need to make sure the heat gets sucked out with the heat sink. Next, we are going to put this on the bottom right here. I need this one. To connect it with these four very small ones, well, not very small. one now we need to add the case we need to make sure it's closed tight so I won't have any problem all good now we need to add these two right here which are the taller versions of those other small ones that you saw me put two smaller ones and use the hex key and this one to connect these two. to add these last two ones right here. And the next one. And I'm done with the building structure thing.
Now I'm going to connect the speaker with the wireless amplifier. These two are the left channel, these two are the right channel. They go from negative to positive, negative to positive. Now I'm going to connect them, these to the, to the negative, I mean to the left channel. Make sure you twist them so the wires don't come out. If they do come out and touch each other, then they might damage your speaker or wireless amplifier. So, you need to make sure that they're all the way in there. And gently touch to make sure that none of them will come out. And then I will do this to the second one. done and connected next we are going to, next we are going to power it on now since we finished connecting these I'm going to I'm going to do the mood the mood configure on my computer mood configure let's follow up on the official guide First, we need to connect the mood to the home Wi-Fi. It's called mood, and the password is mood audio. We can find it here. Other networks, mood, and the password is mood audio. And it should be here now. Next, we need to go to this IP address. And we can go to go to the menu and configure. Then we're, we need to go to the audio, the name device. We need to go to the bottom, Subtronics X4 and set. Then we wait for it to set and then we will restart it later. So we will X this out. Then we need to go to the renderer which should be right here. The Bluetooth on, set, and then AirPlay on, set, and then the Spotify on and set, and then we will wait for it to be set, to, to, and then there we go. And we need to go to the network, and we will press scan and wait for it. And then now it should show, and we need to go to our home Wi-Fi and say, and then we need to do the password. And then we will save. And then wait for it to save. X, and then we need to power and restart. After the Raspberry finished rebooting, we need to set it to our home Wi-Fi and go to the website and the menu, configure, and we need to check if it's still there and go back to the renderer on, on, and on. 
now we are done. Thank you for watching and subscribe.